and welcome to Tang Mumbai. This is Shivani Joshi, and today we are going to learn how to learn the modern periodic table in short, smart, funny, and a uh, little less time-consuming manner. Now, most of the students I've found who are in the tenth standard, whether you belong to CBSE, ICSE, or SSE boards, are afraid of the modern periodic table. They have names. weird latin names they have big names uh, it's difficult to remember so what we have done today is we are going to give you mnemonics which is basically a funny statement which will help you to remember these names in line not only just for your final exams but if you see 10 years down the line you might just remember this because it was too funny okay uh what we are going to do today is we are going to cover group 1 2 3 groups 13 14 15 16 17 and the 18th group or the zero group we are not going to cover the transition series as it is not there for your 10th standard portion being from any of the boards all right so we are going to cover only that as you are required to remember the starting and ends of the periods okay so that this mnemonics will help you to remember that as well as i'm going to give you a mnemonic a short mnemonic to remember the starting and ends of the lanthanide and the actinide series so with this in mind let's begin with the first group or group 1a okay so in the first group you have the elements hydrogen helium sodium potassium rubidium cesium and francium okay now how will you remember this the funny statement to go with this really resembles the first letter of either the names of the element itself or they are other latin names okay so the funny statement is hyla na keheke ruby seized france see it goes with the symbols that are there and it also goes with the element so it's easier to remember so you can even pause the video write this down or learn it there and then and your works gets done Now in a similar fashion let's look at the elements of group 2a uh, I especially like this uh, mnemonic because it is uh, really close to my heart but it goes like this beryllium magnesium calcium strontium barium and radium okay the mnemonic goes like beta mange car scooter ba razi who does not like when the father is actually allowing you for a four wheeler or a two wheeler right Okay, so this is the mnemonic which goes with elements of group two A. Now let's look at group three B. I know I had said we will not be looking at the transition series at all, but this is the beginning of transition series. It helps you to understand where your inner transition series are starting as well. So let's just have a look at it so that you also get the starting and ends of the inner transition series and the entire skeleton of your modern periodic table is there with you, bit back. Okay. So let's have a look at it. Here you have the elements scandium, yttrium. I'm not sure how it's pronounced. I'm I, I'm thinking it should be yttrium if y is silent. Let's take it as yttrium so that we also remember the spelling. Lanthanum and actinium. Okay. So the mnemonic goes like this: Sachin, Y, Lame, Acting. Okay. So this goes with all these symbols. Okay, and here the name of Sachin Tendulkar, our god, is also featuring. So I'm sure you remember this. Okay, now let's look at the starting and end points of our inner transition series. Remember that in group three B, the periods fifth and sixth has lanthanum and actinium. After that, a series of fourteen elements feature in each of this. Okay, which is the part of the inner transition series. I'm giving you the starting and end points. So we have the four starting points and end point. This is the starting point. This is the end point of the lanthanide series, and this is the starting point and the end point of the actinide series. Okay. So the four elements are cerium, lutetium, thorium, and lawrencium. Okay. So the mnemonic goes like this: ceria, lutes, thors, lawrens. All all of those. Uh, Avengers fans out there should definitely be able to remember this. Now we're going to completely jump over the entire transition series and come to group thirteen or three A. Okay, uh, the elements in this group are boron, aluminium, gallium, indium, and thallium. 
The mnemonics that we have given for this is uh, basically for every day person who goes to the shop market and shops for those vegetables for their mothers. If you are doing this, you should be definitely be able to remember this. So the mnemonic goes like this: bangan, alu, gajar, in thali. Okay. So uh, these are the symbols, and it goes with it. And this is how we're going to remember. Now let's look at elements of uh, group fourteen or four A. Uh, the elements in this uh, group are carbon, silicon, germanium, tin or tannin, and lead. Okay, the mnemonic to go with this is like the religious from my end. But if you are not comfortable, you can easily change the names and you can build an, uh, your own mnemonic out of this. Okay, so the mnemonic goes like this: Kahe Sita Ji, Suno Prabhu. Okay, Kahe Sita Ji, Suno Prabhu. So this will help you to learn this mnemonic and this group. Now let's look at the mnemonics of group five A or fifteen. The elements in this group is nitrogen, phosphorus, arsenic, antimony, or stibium, and bismuth. Now uh, the mnemonics here are inspired by our very own Bollywood. So I think it is very easy to remember this one. So the mnemonics are Nana Patekar, Ashwarya, Sabindas. You should be able to remember this. Come on, guys. This is Really simple. Now let us look at the mnemonic of group sixteen or six A. The elements in this group are oxygen, sulfur, selenium, tellurium, and polonium. The mnemonics for this group are as follows: Osun, Selena, Tenu Pukare. So we have a mix of Selena, we have a mix of Punjabi here and there, and then we are making this mnemonic. You can again uh, change it the way you like it, and then remember the elements. Now let's look at the elements of the group seven uh, A or seven B, which are also known as the halogen family. The elements belonging to this group are fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine, and esteine. Remember, esteine is a radioactive element. That's why I put a star here. It means that it will not feature in any of your normal questionnaire. Because you per se are not studying much about the radioactive elements, so none of the periodic trends or anywhere else acetine will feature in your entire purview of study. Okay, so the mnemonics for this are first class burger I ate. Okay, this is the way you'll be remembering it, and hopefully you'll get hungry by listening. Now we are on to our last group of the modern periodic table, that is group eighteen or zero group. Okay. Uh, now this group comprises of elements which belong to the noble gases. Okay. The elements are as follows: helium, neon, argon, krypton, xenon, and radon. Okay. The mnemonic goes like this: Hina, Nina, or Karina ka Xerox rangi. Hina, Nina, or Karina ka Xerox rangi. Uh, should be very easy to remember. And for those who really Love Superman. There's also Krypton here or Kryptonite. Okay, it's not Kryptonite. It's Krypton. Remember that. Okay. To end this video, I would like to say something. You must be wondering why we haven't uh, taken elements from 113, atomic number 113 to atomic number 118. It's because it's not there in your syllabus. The properties have not yet been uh, publicized in your books as of yet. They have been discovered. Yes. But we do not have their properties. It's not in your portion. So the good news is you don't have to remember those element names. At the same time, if you are one of those people who are very enthusiastic about learning the entire periodic table, you can do a similar exercise for elements of the transition series as well, or you can make mnemonics which are period wise instead of group wise. Why I have given uh, mnemonics group wise is because usually questions feature from these groups only. Whenever you have to write any answer with regards to periodic properties, periodic trends, atomic size, everything will depend on your knowledge of the basic positioning of elements in the modern periodic table. So I have tried to stick to that, and hopefully this helps you. If you uh, see the entire time period that it will take for you to remember this, it will be very very less. You'll be very confident, and you can learn your entire modern periodic table in maybe less than a half an hour. Okay, so best of luck. Take care, and best of luck for everything.